And joining me now is Randy Weingarten, president of the American Federation of Teachers, a co-sponsor of the Student Debt Loan Relief Rally outside the Supreme Court today. And I think you have filed an amicus brief yes. in this case. So we how, have. how does this, do you think, affect students and, more importantly, your constituency, teachers, many of whom carry a lot of loans? So, you know, about six or seven years ago, we poll our members all the time. But we polled about student debt. And what we saw was people feeling so burdened. They're doing all the right things. They went to college. We tell everybody to go to college. Maybe we shouldn't be doing that. But they went to college, and all of a sudden, they make one mistake. There's one cent overpayment. They get into deferment. There's, they can't pay their debt for a month, they get into deferment. So what's happened now is that when you say 43 million people can get some relief here, it's people who have done everything right and something tripped them up or they just really can't afford this right now because of the huge escalating course of college. And then on top of it, we had COVID. So I think that what's happened in our, what we see with students all the time and we see with our own members, there's hundreds and thousands of, of, of student debt payments due. Even if somebody took out like 40,000, they may owe 100 or 150,000 because of all of this other stuff that has happened. And people need the relief as the, as the loan moratorium or the student debt moratorium is lifted. Remember, a moratorium that Donald Trump put into effect. As that is lifted, this was supposed to go into effect to actually give people a little bit of relief as they were starting to pay their student loans back. Everything else about COVID that s small businesses got, big businesses got, the states didn't sue. Why are they suing about individuals who really need it. And you see this as a political issue? No, I see it as a moral issue. I mean, okay. the Republicans are making it, these states are making it a political issue. Like, when all of a sudden did college not become something we wanted kids to do? But it's been a huge spiral, it's been a huge escalation of course for college. College costs a lot more today, Andrea, than when you went or when I went. Absolutely. And so consequently, what this relief is, it's not cancellation totally, it's relief as we go into the lifting of the student debt moratorium. Let me play devil's advocate. What do you say to all those people who could not afford college or didn't want to go, didn't have the opportunity, had to support families, you know, and, and paid their own way and aren't getting the same kind of relief? Well, what I would say to them, like I, look, I paid all my student debts. I would say to them that what the time right now is different and what we're trying to do is lift everyone. So as we're trying to create new pathways to opportunities for career, look what's happening with the CHIPS bill. We're creating pathways and opportunities for some kids. Here, there's other kids we're creating opportunities for. Let's try to find ways that we lift all boats. Randy Weingarten, thank you very much. It's always good to see you.